What's going on folks? We're back with another informative video here to change some settings on your screen. If you get the wired off-road conversion kit for your KX85, KX100, it comes with this screen and we have some presets set up for, by default, a 14 inch rear wheel. If you're running something else, this is actually our supermoto bike here that I'm working on. But if you're looking to dial in your speedometer, it's pretty straightforward, kind of annoying, but easy enough. What we're gonna do is there's two buttons on the back of the screen. You hold down the left button for a little while until the screen changes, it goes to this. And then you can see we have to enter three numbers. So I'm cycling through this side. So our first number to mess with the speedometer is one, then a five. And it automatically goes into here. So now here's where it gets kind of annoying. If you stop pressing buttons, it goes to the next screen. So right now I'm kind of just like continuously pressing the right button to keep cycling through so it doesn't go to the next screen automatically. I'll explain this first number, 1655. That is the circumference of the rear tire in millimeters. To get that, we roughly did uh, 3.14 times your diameter in millimeters. The better way to do it would be get one of those flexible tape measures and wrap it around and actually get a real um, circumference value and just put that in in millimeters. But the diameter method works fine too. Okay, so if I let go for a second, it'll go to the next screen. There's two numbers here. The first one is your reduction ratio times your number of pole pairs. And then the second one is offset. The second number, don't really worry about that. It isn't that significant. And I found that it's easier to simply mess with the circumference to dial things in. So this number by default, from us will be set to 32. I was messing around with it a little bit. I'll give a quick explanation on how we came to that 32. So like I said, it's reduction ratio times pole pairs. Oh gosh, the FedEx truck is backing up. So the motor has five pole pairs, the one that comes with this kit, that's just a standard. And then the motor also has an internal reduction ratio of 2.368. That's just standard the way it is with this QS138. Now the stock wired off-road reduction, you have to take into account the chain reduction. We've got a 47 in the rear and a 17 in the front, and that comes out to 2.765. So we're multiplying the motor reduction by the chain reduction by the number of pole pairs equals 32, 33-ish. So that's just kind of our baseline. And then eight is offset um, by default when we send it to you. The key thing when you're trying to dial this in is you can redo this calculation to get closer because if you're gonna have a different uh, chain reduction, that's pretty easy to just modify that 2.765 number and put a new one in there. And then it'll get you kind of in the ballpark. And you also change your circumference if you need to based on your rear tire and that'll get you in the ballpark. What I've found is the easiest way to dial it in and get it really precise is you get yourself a nice little phone holder and strap your phone in there and run like Waze or Strava or something. And so you got your real actual GPS speed and then it's just a matter of messing with the circumference and dialing that in. If you wanna decrease what this reads, you just decrease your circumference of your tire, that value. It, it's really just gonna be guess and check. You get it close with the numbers on here, but then you gotta dial it in uh, manually, just comparing to a GPS.